hi everyone welcome back to the laravel 6.0 video tutorial and in this video we are going to learn about the migration these are the key points that we are going to learn in this video first of all we will learn some theoretical part of the migration then we will make some default migration of the table which is provided by the laravel and check inside the database also then we will create uh, a new table with the migration and we will perform some operation on this migration like we will uh, put this uh, migration to with inside the database we will try to reset it with the migration commands and all all right so now the first question is what is the migration 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 is uh, actually the version controlling system of your database let's say 10 developers are working with your uh, database so they are working on the own system so how you can just collect the 10 database for uh, for everyone all right so if they are just going to put the database inside the uh, uh, database server directly then we have to take the dump of every computer and then we have to merge all but laravel resolve this problem you have to just write some code inside the laravel and you can just simply migrate them all right this is the easiest way to handle the large amount of data with a version contro controlling system and they, they will provide the date and time the everything all right so now let's start with the first command of the migration and uh, first of all uh, we have to just configure the database and for that we have to go inside the dot env file and inside the env file i'm just going to put my database name and my database name is youtube and password in my case this is the red hat at the rate one two three in your case it can be different all right and the username in the root and the uh, host name is also uh, local i'm just going to open my php my admin and here you can see that uh, my youtube database and there is a no table for you at all right and now first of all i'm just going to use a default migration command and it will automatically uh, insert some data inside the database and this data is not uh, my the migration of this data is written only by the uh, laravel so i'm just going to put here in the command line php artisan migrate and this is the command for uh, uh, putting the data from uh, our laravel to database i'm just going to hit it and you can see that some tables are migrated and let's see uh, on the database now you can see that we got the four table here one is the migration it will take care of the migration database so the three other about the three other tables all right and the uh, uh, sample table and users table and the reset password table all right so now what i'm going to do first of all i'm just going to remove some tables from migration so let's say i just uh, remove a sample table from here all right and now i'm just going to make a new table here for that what i can do so for that you can just simply clear it and just write here php artisan make colon migrate migration and uh, table name so let's say my table name is company and uh, uh, after that you can just simply write here minus minus create and equal to once again company name and just hit the enter now you can see that you are created a migration here so now let's see here you can see that with the name of company you have the new migration and here the date is also present whenever i'm just going to open it some code is al already returned here like some uh, namespace is already imported here some class is already made made here and an up function up function means when we are just going to uh, use the migrate command this code will be execute and when we just use the drop command this command will be execute all right so now you can see that the id is already present and timestamp is already present so uh, here i am just going to write here table and with the table i am just uh, simply write the type string and in string what i want to put table name that means 
uh, I need a table name column with the kind of string all right the same thing I can just put once more um, like I just want to put the address and this is also string all right now my table is ready to migrate uh, and uh, let's say if you want to put some more column then you can uh, put the more column also here uh, here you will uh, find the many kinds of uh, 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 data type like the uh, string big int integer float and uh, timestamp and all all right boolean and all so now what i'm going to do i'm just going to empty my database first of all so that we can just do it from the scratch everything all right so i'm just going to drop drop my database and let's create a same database once again utf there is a no table for now and i'm just going to uh, migrate once again the command php artisan migrate and now you can see that the company table and create table uh, everything is migrated here now let's say you can see that so let's open the company table we just uh, customized it now you can see that id uh, and name and address are uh, present here and create and update are coming from the timestamp all right so this is the how actually it's working so uh, uh, let's say out i want to just remove it i don't want to import the tables so for that you ha just have to write here php artisan migrate and colon reset and just hit the enter now you can see that all table are uh, resetted but one table should be present here which is the migration let's see now you have only migration table is there all other tables are removed from here because of the reset command so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of confusion regarding to the migration you can ask me in the comment box so bye bye don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video